Okay, this week on The Breakdown, we look at the ice that has mesmerized our nation this week and also the ice that has blockbuster movie potential written all over it. First, we begin with this incredible viewpoint. Mother Nature really putting on a show. What looks like an art installation, large disks of ice that formed on Lake Doré in Val David, Quebec. Kevin McKay joins us again on The Breakdown. As always, we dive deeper into the videos that really made the rounds this week. Uh, ice swirls, ice disks. What caused this phenomenon? It's absolutely beautiful. Well, this is probably one of my coolest, or the coolest winter uh, phenomenons here. Uh, it all has to do with the balance. So what you need is a little bit of snow on very weak ice. And that weak point in the ice, that's where the water at higher pressure, whether it's a current underneath, um, that's where it forces itself up. It saturates that snow on top. It becomes slush. It freezes. And then it is heavy enough to break the ice around it. And then it repeats wow. again. It creates another <laughs> seam for the water to come up, and it almost looks like a, a gobstopper. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't even look real. A delight for onlookers that came upon the site. And then similarly this week, a photographer in China came upon this massive ice disc just swirling. 20 meters <laughs> large, uh, slowly spinning on the surface of this river in Inner Mongolia. We've seen ice disks before, Kevin, but for me, this seems a lot bigger than normal, or is it? it, it it's a big one, that's for sure. I think <laughs> it would be also pretty convenient to uh, ice fish on yeah, that. Yeah, that would be good for you. And you're moving around. Uh, yeah, this is really cool because it, it really highlights the current that's always in the river. But when you get little pieces of ice starting to form in the center of the whirlpool, they freeze together, they expand while simultaneously the ice is growing out from shore. And once it gets into contact, you get that friction and it starts to, it, it's almost the same process that forms the planets into a circle. No way. And it really seems like it is staying stagnant. I was just going to say, like maybe an orbit of a planet. Yeah, and similarly to pancake ice as well. Okay, the last ice video that really made the rounds this week is, uh, well, ready film directors, here's your pitch, okay? The world's largest iceberg is on the move. This iceberg, Kevin, is dubbed A23A. It's 4,000 square kilometers in size, almost as big as Greater Montreal. It's 400 meters thick. That's more than twice the height of Niagara Falls. Here's the backstory, folks, and then Kevin's going to explain it for us. It originally dislodged from an Antarctic ice shelf 38 years ago, and it's been stuck on the sea floor, but it started moving again a few years ago and it's really sped up in the last few years. Well yeah you have to keep in mind right now yes we're sliding into winter but Antarctica they're coming right up to the summer solstice so this is when ice is starting to melt in the southern hemisphere but I'm more interested in what kind of animals are going to be hitching a ride on this and maybe finding their way to South America or Australia <laughs> maybe we can get some more penguins on getting a free vacation. I think there was a Disney or a DreamWorks movie along this line that's got everything <laughs> written all over it. The best plot twist. Here's what we know. It has uh, gotten caught up in the circumpolar current, headed towards the South Atlantic, and maybe potentially there are fears for it heading towards the island of South Georgia where there are millions of animals uh, that host their breeding grounds there. Well, luckily, with it being so big and moving relatively slowly, uh, if it comes towards any islands, it's going to hit bottom before it contacts the island. So we don't have to worry about uh, it kind of being like a runaway ship running into a, a harbor or a town by any means. But yes, yeah, so this will certainly be interesting to watch and track and maybe they'll even be studying it for, uh, let's see if it's weeks or days or months or years ahead. Yeah, enormous amounts of the Antarctic ice shelf melt every single year. Of course, we cover these types of stories all the time. We will keep watching more of these mesmerizing ice videos and breaking them down for you right here on The Breakdown. Thanks, Kevin.